Well, good morning everybody. This is Randy Canar with Maine Wildlife Management. And today we're in Orrington, Maine, sealing up this chimney. So you can see this gap here, all the way along the side of the chimney, where it's pulled off from the house. And there's all kinds of space in there. A bat only needs a quarter of an inch, and they can easily get inside here. You can see we had a little bit of, we foamed in the, uh, Temporarily a bat valve, but you can see all the smudge marks up there. <clears throat> all that darkness, uh, that's all smudge marks from the bats flying and the oils in their skin rubbing and wearing off or they're coming and going. So this whole section here, we got the bats out and we got to seal it up. Um, but I want to get as much of that guano out of there down towards the bottom. I don't know if you can see it or not. We're getting kind of close. Yeah, it might not focus correctly. But the guano is packed inside the back of this chimney. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer. Well, you can see it down here on the ground. That's just what kind of fell out after we removed uh, <clears throat> our netting to keep them from getting back in. But you can see a little... No, I won't be able to focus that much. Let me see about up here. Yeah, it doesn't really... Well, there you go. A little bit. So it's not the best. Anyway, let me refocus this. So what I'm gonna have to do is gonna take all the siding off, all the sides so we get past this J channel here, or F channel, and uh, we're gonna take all this off so we can actually get our hose, our vacuum in there, clean all this out, clean it all out sanitize it, disinfect it, put in some metal flashing behind it, and then we'll put the vinyl all back on. Do the same thing on the other side with this big gap coming through. And it'll look super sharp and we'll keep the bats out long term, as well as any mice. That metal will keep mice out. Finish boxing our ridge vents. We had to use ridge guard here to secure these plastic ridge vents that buckle and bow and have all these little gaps in here where bats can just come in and there's a, a opening on the top of the ridge there so once bats get into your ridge cap they have access to the whole building uh, there's a little bit of sign up on the other ridge cap on the top where they were hanging out that one's all done then we just ran out of material so we'll button that up today get the rest of the attic cleaned out and move on to the next go job so all right guys so we got all the vinyl taken off. You should be able to see all that now. All those droppings. All the way to the bottom of this chimney. Lots of dead bugs. So, got the uh, J channel off and all the vinyl siding off. Now we're gonna get our vacuum in there, clean it all the manure, put in some metal flashing we'll bend some metal to fit inside this corner seal this off completely then we'll put our J channel back on put our vinyl back in do the same thing over here to this side and seal it up tight and have another bat proof home in Orton thanks guys